Christina on Facebook asked if there's any way to create a side-by-side -side or split-screen video so you could use one projector to project out of two windows at the same time. Yes, you certainly can, and you can do it for free in the HitFilm Express video editor from FX Home. Let's go ahead and let's start up HitFilm Express. And I'm going to click on the uh, new button here, and we're going to create a standard uh, 1080p or 1920 by 1080 video at 30 frames a second. Of course, you can adjust those settings, whatever you like. Just click OK. And now let's uh, make sure that we're over here in the media tab. So I'm going to click on that one here. There's all these little tabs right here. You want to be in media. Uh, and let's go ahead and click on the import button. And I'm going to import in a couple of videos here. First of all is a, a joke telling pumpkin video. And then I'm going to hold down my control key. And I'm also going to click on this turkey tomfoolery video. So we have two videos selected. And I'm going to click open. Now we have uh, both of our videos here. And so what we are going to do is we're going to put the joke telling pumpkin on video track one. And then I'm going to put Turkey Tomfoolery on video track two. Well, video track two is not there yet. I could uh, I could drag him up there and it would automatically create one. But I'm just going to uh, be over this video one area here. I'm going to right click and say insert track. So now we have video two and video one down here. And I'm going to move my mouse button down just right between video one and audio one. Hold down my left mouse button and you notice how it changes that little double bar and arrows. I'm going to drag that down a little bit so we can have a little bit more room for those and see them a little bit better. Now, let's go ahead and select our joke telling pumpkins over here. Hold down your left mouse button, drag it into video one, and you want it to snap over here to the left side. As soon as you get close, it'll snap, and then just let go. Now, let's click on our turkey tomfoolery button uh, video, and hold down your left mouse button, and drag it up here to video two. And again, you want to snap it to the left side, and then let go. Now, with Turkey Tom Foolery, he's not on the screen at the beginning, so I'm going to come up here and hold down my left mouse button over this little thick bar. And that way I can kind of drag through and, and get him on the screen there, because we want to center him up and make sure that we get the center of this video for him. So what we want to do is we basically want to uh, just cut out a section of this video that we are going to see here, our turkey tomfoolery, and he's going to end up on our right-hand side. So what we need to do is zoom out so we can work uh, in this video a little bit easier. And there's two ways. You can use your mouse wheel and scroll down, uh, and you can also use this little zoom thing over here. Drop that down and pick maybe something like 25% would be about right. Now we're going to cut out just part of this video so we can see it. Now occasionally he has things like a little banner going across and stuff so you know you might want to um, leave a little extra room here for Tom uh, but we're going to come over here to this uh, rectangular mass tool it's called. You can also press R but you can also click on this little guy right up here. It's like a little, uh, little rectangle. And then we're just going to draw a box that's going to be the area of the video that we want to see. So I'm just going to guess about how big it needs to be here. And that's going to drag it across about like that. So hopefully we can see Tom and everything is going on there. And uh, so now we got our mask and we can only see just that part of the Tom, uh, Tom Fuller Turkey video. So uh, come down here and click on that Turkey Tom Fuller video. It's very important because we want to select it. And then we also want to come up here and go back to our selection tool. And that's going to allow us to actually move this video around. So all I got to do is just click on this video and just drag it over here. By the way, if you actually had the wrong one selected, let's say you had the pumpkin selected and you want to start it to drag, well, it's going to, you're going to drag the pumpkins instead. All you got to do is press Control Z to undo that. So just make sure you have Tom selected and you can drag him around here and get him over here to the left hand side. And then we're going to go ahead and select our pumpkin video or whatever your other video is. And again, I'm going to click in this area over here and we're going to drag over to the right here and get them drug over here. And let's get uh, Tom drug over a bit more of that direction. So now we've got our split screen effect between these two.
Now you can resize these, by the way, if you need to fit a little bit more uh, room on here. Uh, the best way to do that is come over here, have your video selected. We got Tom selected right now. Hold down your shift key, grab one of these little handles here, hold down your left mouse button, and move in or out to expand or contract him down here. Now, of course, it's going to leave a little bit of a border here, but if your window is, is maybe more narrow or longer or whatever, you can, uh, you know, the, the window frame will hide all that anyway, so we don't really care. But if you do need to adjust the size of them, you can certainly do that. And uh, holding down the shift key will make sure he resizes in proportion. If you don't hold down the shift key, you can make him, you know, skinnier or fatter or whatever, but that's going to make the video look weird. So again, hold down the shift key and uh, adjust him, and then he'll be in proportionate size uh, to whatever you need. So once you get your video uh, selected here and you can kind of scrub through uh, just to make sure everything looks looks okay. Tom's a little cut off but not too bad. And uh, But we have a problem here in that the uh, pumpkin uh, video here, our joke telling pumpkin, is not nearly as long as the tomfoolery video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to make sure my little uh, bar over here is where there's no video. And then I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hit paste. And it's going to paste in another copy. And then I can just hold down my left mouse button over it and drag it. And it's going to snap right to the edge of the other video. So now they're roughly the same uh, uh, length, close at least. So we've got a little bit where it's going to go black here on the left, on the left side. And, but then as soon as it loops back around, we'll be back to playing again. So at least it's adjusted a, you know, a little bit. Now there's one other item here too. Uh, right now the audio from both of these videos is playing. If you just want the audio from one, uh, let's say you just want Tom for example, you can uh, you know, select your joke telling pumpkins and you notice how the audio down here is also selected for them. And if I come over here to this audio track, I can click on this little icon that looks like a speaker. And if I do notice the little sound waves go away, and now we will not hear any audio from the pumpkins. And if I click over here on the uh, audio 2, then we're not going to hear any audio from Tom Foolery. So if I scrub through again, you notice it's, it's totally silent because we got all the audio turned off. If I just uh, click this one again, then I've got Tom only. Okay. And so you can just uh, adjust the audio however you need. You can also, by the way, grab these little white bars and hold them down and turn the volume up and down on each of the audio items. But we just basically want to turn them on or off right now. So I'll just leave Tom on and uh, have the joke telling pumpkin off. And then when you're all done, you come over here to export. Click on that and you select to file. It's going to pop up this box and you just basically select the directory that you want to put it in, uh, give it a name, and then hit save. And that's it. So you created a split screen video and we've kind of adjusted the audio. We've uh, made a copy of one to help fit the link a little bit better. And uh, so now we have our split screen effect, uh, two videos playing on one projector. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.